one, two, Tom in B News for New Zealand. State Highway 1 south of Whangarei is closed due to a fatal crash. The crash between car and a truck happened about half past 12 at Otaika. A major fire at a Tauranga construction site that caused millions of dollars worth of damage is being treated as arson. Papamoa Deputy Fire Chief Brent Stratford believes polystyrene was used to start the blaze. The blaze took 24 firefighters, which took four hours. <sighs> A petrol station employee whose pay was docked over petrol thefts has received an apology from the company's boss. Kerry worked at the Masterton night and day for six months but quit after having money taken from his pay around three occasions. The CEO Tony Ellison has apologised to Kerry. A Japanese restaurant in Auckland has been fined $12,000 for underpaying migrant workers and say this person is a repeat offender. <sighs> Wait a minute, didn't we report it about this on our third Investigation Today episode last year? Welcome to Investigation Today. Tonight on Investigation Today, an Auckland restaurant chain is accused of paying staff $4 an hour. Oh yes, I remember now. Let's go to the first half of the story. An Auckland restaurant chain is accused of paying their staff by $4 an hour. The minimum pay is $13.75 an hour which is $110 for an 8-hour work. Or $550 for a 40-hour work job. Other allegations include workers are not entitled to be paid, such as holiday pay, public holiday payment or sick leave. Wow, so last time he paid his staff $4 an hour? Yes. <sighs> a man who sped away and scaled a four-storey building, refusing to come down, has been arrested. At 8 this morning, a police patrol car at attempted to stop a car in the central Auckland suburb of Parnell. The chase was, ab the chase was abandoned, but a few minutes later, he was found on Pilkington Road. Before we get to our weather forecast, there is a strong wind advisory for Marlborough and Wellington. They will gust about 120 kilometres an hour. So Auckland is partly cloudy and 20 degrees, low of 14. Wellington's forecast is wind gusts up to 120 kilometres an hour in, in exposed places and 20 degrees, low of 14. <laughs> And Christchurch is partly cloudy and 27 degrees. Wow, that's toasty hot. That's the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you next Friday.